So uh, this is Bill from Cambodia. Yeah. I just had a little bit of an excursion out. I uh, went and just wandered around and was looking at stuff. I went to a couple electronics uh, slash music stores to look at guitars. Um, I'm going to wait on getting one because it's a little more than I want to spend right now. Uh, but I happened upon this little market, uh, smaller, a lot smaller than old market, and a lot dingier, and people are riding their motos like right through it. And uh, so I picked up a, uh, I picked up a few things. I'll show you those. But first, um, after I bought some fruit and stuff, I came out of the market, and this little kid walks up, and he's like, "Nom nom," and uh, so I reached in to give him a couple little bananas, and all of a sudden a gaggle of kids, and it's like, you know, "Nom nom 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 nom," and I'm like, "Oh no, not not all of you, sorry." They'll just clean me out. And then they like followed me down the road for a while and I just grabbed a, a pass app and got out of there. And uh, one thing the pass app guys kind of appreciate. Um, so I was trying to get uh, this particular driver on the app and it just, there was a whole gaggle of other drivers around and uh, he wasn't going to get it. So I'm like, I'll tell you what, you take me, I give you a dollar. He's like, okay, <laughs> because, you know, otherwise Pass App would be taking a cut. So he gave me a ride, and I gave him a dollar plus another hundred of you, uh, just to be nice. And he's all, oh, thank you, thank you. And he's got this sly smile like, <laughs> we pulled something on the Pass App company. And, you know, I don't mind helping him out a little bit. So I will show you what I got. Okay, folks, so I picked up this cutting board and this little knife here. Um, I picked up a bunch of these little bananas, which are tasty as hell. A local mango, which I haven't had yet. A dragon fruit. And I don't know what these are. She just threw them in. I was looking at them for a second. I picked one up and put it down, and she just like threw these three in. And uh, the knife and the cutting board together were five bucks. The rest of this was probably, I, I can get a lot cheaper in the future, but it was, uh, I think, two bucks. And so I'm going to cut some of this stuff open and see what it looks like. Folks, this might be the soursop thing I was talking about. Hmm. I think it is. I think I found soursops. That's tasty. It looks like a, you know, clove of garlic or something. Ooh, that looks like there's a little something in there. Uh, but I'll definitely be trying more of those out. Um... I'll be right back. So this is one of the little bananas. Mm. Not bad, sweet. <laughs> um, next I think we'll go for the dragon fruit. So usually dragon fruit is white, but this stuff comes out like a blood red. Hmm. Okay. Mm. Not a lot of flavor, but not not bad tasting. All right, we'll be back in a bit. So I've got some ripe mango here. I've taken a little slice of. Hmm, that's pretty darn good. All right, so that's my little culinary adventure for today. <laughs> Folks, I'm kicking it here in the local. I love this place. This is like the new television. Just watch shit happen. And so this is a place I'm definitely liking to hang out. Folks, I just woke up and uh, came out to my balcony. And look at that sun. It's like this red sunrise. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, um, it's nice and cool in the morning. This is refreshing. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about self-care. So I'm going to flip this around. One moment. 
I'm just sitting out on my balcony here and I uh, wanted to talk a bit about self-care in Cambodia. And uh, so I spent the first three or four days really kind of going full bore and uh, walking around a lot in the heat, not drinking enough water, a little too eager to explore. And uh, yesterday it all caught up with me <laughs> after getting back from that uh, little fruit market. Um, I was just feeling wiped. I noticed that I had like little red bumps all over uh, my hands and arms. I don't know if you can see that. But that apparently is heat rash. And uh, <laughs> it was worse yesterday. Uh, thankfully, Dave had this cream that you can put on it called Super Cream. He had like a bunch of extra, so he was very kind enough to give me one, and it's helped a lot. Thank you, Dave. And uh, another shout out to his channel, by the way, Dave does Cambodia. Uh, so, some advice on self care when you get here uh, don't be too eager to get out all the time. Uh, remember to drink way more water than you think you need. Uh, take time to slow down, get in the shade, get in the AC. Don't push yourself to be out in the sun and the heat. Uh, if you have to, take a tuk-tuk around and uh, don't walk as much. Because I've been walking a lot. <laughs> and. Uh, so take it easy and be good to yourself because this place will wipe you out if you're not careful. And uh, so I've learned that a bit the hard way. <laughs> um, so today I think I'm going to wander around a little bit uh, slowly <laughs> and just take in some of the area while it's still cool in the morning here. And uh, if you guys have any questions about how things have been so far here, please ask away. And I'll talk to you soon. Take care.